Okay, now, my gut tells me that I actually made a little bit too much um, water there for what I need. So this is an example of what I'm talking about. Just add more flour. And my gut feel tells me that. So I'm just going to add more flour now. And I'm just going to make more than what I originally intended. It's all good. And one final stir of that yeast. It feels like it's pretty much ready to go. Make a little well if you want. Pour some around the outside. And from here on, you get your fingers in the mud and start to work it in. And you're going to make some mess here. And so be it. It's part of the fun. Just working it all into itself. And there's a certain consistency or hand feel that you're looking for, which I'm going to struggle to describe actually but if you have a good look this sort of close range footage you should get a sense of it and I've got a tiny bit of yeasty water still left and I'm getting close to what I want so and I'm also aware that the clock is ticking each one of these minuets will always be less than five minutes. But literally, you don't need much more than that to do your dough if you've got your missing plus in place. And your missing plus, well, a fancy word for your workflow, getting your ingredients all in set and ready to go. for one of the biggest food service operations in the world. We certainly know about Missing Plus. And I just made it a tiny bit claggy for my liking, so I'm going to add some flour here. And I'm pretty much drawing this to an end here. This is almost done. A tiny bit more. Now I'm really working that flour into the outside, which is a problem because I don't want it to dry out and go all crusty, which is why I'm going to give my bowl some more olive oil. Olive oil is really good for this kind of thing, but you can substitute it with other things like butter or whatever. The point is you want to keep it kind of moist so that when it rises, it doesn't get all crusty. All right, I'm starting to really like the feel of that. experience what I'm feeling. It's it's not really claggy to the touch anymore. It feels nice and pliable. It's like clay dough maybe. Play dough I should say, whatever it's called. Mm. Alright, so that's done. Don't have a complicate it. Really important to wrap it in the cling wrap, but not over the top, instead over the dough, and one final really nice layer of olive oil on top. And we're good. Almost ready to put it to bed for one and a half hours at least, or overnight. Or Put it on around noon and have it ready for dinner. Whatever.
put a little blankie on it. Wish it good night. Untuck it in somewhere. It's kind of nice and warm and quiet and dark. We'll see what happens. <laughs>